long answer type questions. Here 1 into 7, 7 marks. So, in this one first problem, if cos alpha plus cos beta plus cos gamma is equal to 0 equals to sin alpha plus sin beta plus sin gamma. Then show that show that first one cos 3 alpha plus cos 3 beta plus cos 3 gamma is equal to 3 times cos of alpha plus beta plus gamma this first problem. Second one is sin 3 alpha plus sin 3 beta plus sin 3 gamma is equal to 3 sin of alpha plus beta plus gamma. Third problem cos of alpha plus beta plus cos of beta plus gamma plus cos of gamma plus alpha is equal to 0. So, this we have to prove. Okay. So, in order to solve this problem, so we have to assume 3 complex numbers which are in the form of cis alpha, cis beta, cis gamma. That means cos theta plus i, cos alpha plus i sin alpha, cos beta plus i sin beta, cos gamma plus i sin gamma. So, now let us consider, let x or a, no problem, a is equal to cos alpha plus i sin alpha b is equal to cos beta plus i sin beta c is equal to cos gamma plus i sin gamma first add a plus b plus c first find we get cos alpha plus cos beta plus cos gamma and i common we get sin alpha plus sin beta plus sin gamma of i. Now, as for the given data, this will be 0 and this will be 0. See? So, now this becomes 0 plus 0 into i. So, this will be 0, a plus b plus c is equal to 0. So, if a plus b plus c is equal to 0 from algebraic identity, we have a q plus b q plus c cube is equal to 3 a b c. Am I correct? So, now replace a value, b value, c value in that one. So, we have cos alpha plus i sin alpha whole cube plus cos beta plus i sin beta whole cube plus cos gamma plus i sin gamma whole cube is equal to 
3 times cos alpha plus i sin alpha into cos beta plus i sin beta into c cos gamma plus i sin gamma. Here apply the de Moore's theorem. So, by de Moore's theorem each term we can write like this cos 3 alpha plus i sin 3 alpha plus cos 3 beta plus i sin 3 beta ok plus cos 3 gamma i sin 3 gamma is equal to this we can write 3 of cis alpha cis beta cis gamma cis of alpha plus beta plus gamma this directly we can write cos of alpha plus beta plus gamma plus this is we can write i sin of alpha plus beta plus gamma. So, now add all real parts this we can write cos 3 alpha plus cos 3 beta plus cos 3 gamma plus here add all the imaginary parts. So, sin 3 alpha plus sin 3 beta plus sin 3 sin 3 gamma i is equal to 3 cos of alpha plus beta plus gamma okay plus this is 3 times sin of alpha plus beta plus gamma of i can we compare real and imaginary parts on both sides? Yes, why not? Comparing real and imaginary parts on both sides, on both sides that means this is the real part this equated to this real part imaginary part equal to imaginary part so by equating we get so we get we get cos 3 alpha plus cos 3 beta plus cos 3 gamma should be equal to 3 times cos of alpha plus beta plus gamma and whereas sin 3 alpha plus sin 3 beta plus sin 3 gamma equals to 3 sin of alpha plus beta plus gamma ok. Now, we have to prove this one third one how to prove let us see third one. For third one let us consider one by a plus one by b plus one by c. Let us see what do we get. So, that means 1 by a means 1 by cos alpha plus i sin alpha that is cos alpha minus i sin alpha plus similarly cos beta minus sin sin beta plus cos gamma minus i sin gamma this we can write cos alpha plus cos beta plus cos gamma ok. Now, minus i of 
sin alpha plus sin beta plus sin gamma. From given data, this is 0, this is 0. So, this becomes 0. Now, take here LCM ABC. We get AA gets cancelled, this will be AB plus BC plus CA is equal to 0. So, we get AB plus BC plus CA is equal to 0. Let us substitute ABC values in this one. So, A equals to cis alpha, B is equal to cis beta plus this is, this will be cis beta into cis gamma plus cis gamma cis alpha is equal to 0. Now, here this is cis of alpha plus beta plus cis of beta plus gamma. This is cis of gamma plus alpha is equal to 0. So, let us write this is abridged structure. Let us write expand it cos of alpha plus beta i sin of alpha plus beta. And next plus cos of beta plus gamma i sin of beta plus gamma plus cos of gamma plus alpha plus i sin of alpha plus gamma equals to 0. So, in this case also add all the real parts. Uh, add all imaginary parts. So, cos alpha plus beta plus cos beta plus gamma plus cos gamma plus alpha. This is real part plus I of sin of alpha plus beta plus sin of beta plus gamma plus sin of gamma plus alpha is equal to this for our convenience we can write 0 plus i into 0. So, comparing real parts on both sides on both sides. Comparing real parts on both sides, we get this part is equal to this one. So, we get therefore, cos alpha plus beta plus cos beta plus gamma plus cos gamma plus alpha is equal to 0. Hence, it is proved.